Hello everyone, welcome back to another devlog. Um, as you can see right off the bat, a lot of progress has been happening since the last devlog. Um, I've decided to scale back the, um, like, scale of it, uh, and stop with, like, the feature creep of, like, I keep wanting to add more features, but I can't. So I've decided to just keep it, it's, like, sort of simple, but I've been working on just making it look better and play better. So I, like, stopped trying to put focus into super complex systems I don't understand yet. And I've been working on a main menu, uh, which, it, it's a bit larger than that scene, so you have to scroll out a bit. But, uh, yeah, I'll show you this. It's fairly in-depth. I just need to figure out how to do the title, because I don't want to do it with the text mesh pro. I want to, like, actually draw it out and make it super stylized and stuff. So that'll be fun, but right now we have the options, which goes to the view keybinds. It's the only option right now, and you can view the keybinds. I don't know if I'll be able to find a way to change them or not. I'm not sure how to do that, but that's what they are right now. Uh, and then the exit just closes the application, but you can't simulate that in Unity. And then play, you load into the level. Uh, which has been improved a lot. I made this background myself if you if you, if you can't tell um, I I'm working on like designing an actual level instead of just the sample one um, Because I couldn't get the uh, The chest and the ball to work because I was working on using the ball so that if you um, op If you pick it up you get the bounciness from that one devlog um, but I couldn't figure out how it worked, so I just scrapped that idea. And the chest, I had to use animation controllers, and I have no clue how that works. But I didn't want to just delete them, so I made this little wooden wall texture, and just put it as a different room that says, Don't enter, as a little memento to uh, <laughs> the like week I spent on those things. Uh, while also not like spending a month more fully fleshing them those out. Uh, and then I have a sign here that says, Don't fall, which is very cool. And then, yeah, the background repeats, which is really nice. Uh, okay, I, I jumped off a bit farther. Um, but, yeah. I also, with the background, made it- I fixed the issue where if you jumped, you could just, like, see out of bounds. I made it so that it's the same color as the sky, so I didn't have to have it repeat and be weird because, uh, it would be repeating from the bottom to the top, so the grass would be where the sky should be. So, that's good. Um, and I do need to re-implement the anti-stick method. I don't know what's going on, but somewhere around here, I just get stuck. And I don't- yeah, like right there. And I have no clue what that is. So I'll have to figure that out. Um, but yeah, a lot of progress has been made. And so that's super cool. And I'm gonna be working on, um, making sprites for the platform. Because I realized it is very difficult to make a material, so I've decided to just make new platform sprites all together, so I, I don't have to have the whole headache of replacing all the materials and making a 3D material for a 2D game. Ooh, scary. Um, but one of the main reasons why I'm scaling back the project a lot is because uh, um, I, I don't know much C-sharp, so... Um, using C sharp to make a super complex systems has been very difficult for me. So I'm wanting to scale it back a bit since it's just my first project and I want to just get it released like as a fully fledged finished product. Um, and then I can devote more time to learning C sharp, which will make my next projects even better, which I'm really excited about. I have no clue what just happened here. Why? I don't know why that's invisible, but. Okay, I'll, I'll fix that too. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that is the progress. A lot of stuff has been added over the last week or two. Uh, ever since the last devlog, I've been working on it like almost every day. And it's almost finished. I just need to come up with uh, the full level and maybe even add a couple more levels. I don't know. But we'll have to see. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you have an amazing day or night whenever you're watching this. And bye.